What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, coming to y'all with a quick video today. We're going to talk about the Lakers. They one win away from winning a championship. LeBron getting his fourth possible finals MVP. Anthony Davis getting his first. But one thing I consistently see throughout the promotion of the NBA Finals is LeBron and AD being compared to Shaq and Kobe, the last dynasty in LA, um, if you don't count Paul Gasol and Kobe Bryant as a duo that won two back to back, but it was still Kobe a part of that. And Kobe was a guy that played his heart out, gave his all, remembered as one of the greatest and iconic players of the game which is important because that's what he was throughout his career and after his career and he gave so much to the game and his soul was a part of it too but you know Kobe was a guy that didn't have enough talent at one point and he had to wait till he got it and he cashed in two titles and three straight finals appearances when he did get another great player alongside him after he lost Shaq and LeBron, there was a little question what he was going to do. He goes to L.A. and people questioned it a little bit, but they understood why he did it. And they missed the playoffs the first year because of his injury. I don't really blame the injury because they had enough time to still make the playoffs, and they didn't. And Anthony Davis ended up missing the playoffs, too, in New Orleans. And they trade all their young talent and mostly a lot of their picks. And they acquire Anthony Davis, a top five, top seven player coming into that season. We all know he was top 10 for sure. And now they're on the verge of winning the title and tying the Boston Celtics with 17. And it's interesting because people forget, like I told them when they signed AD, not only did they give up a lot of talent, Anthony Davis will be a free agent, which means they will have to pay him more money than he's making now on his next contract. Even though most teams, including the Lakers, would gladly do that because he's shown that he's that dominant. And he's shown a lot of improvement. Plus, LeBron has shown those sides of really slowing down. He's still an elite player in this league, and some people believe that he's the best. And if he can continue, which he has shown that he can, playing at this level, we're looking at a team that can potentially win more than one if when they win this year. and he would then enter that Kobe reign of winning back-to-back -back and potentially two, even if they don't win the next year because it's going to be tough. We don't know what's going to happen. The injuries and all this stuff happens, and this roster won't be the same because they do have to resign AD, and a lot of guys are one-year free agents this year, which means they have the option to leave or they get the option to get more money somewhere else. Um, that's going to be interesting just because they're going to have to retool this roster a little bit um, this summer and see who they keep and who they're going to try to get to try to run it back and win back to back. And they have a huge chance of doing that. Um, they shown that they was able to compete with the heat injuries helped them a little bit, but I still feel like there's going to be the better team and it's going to win the series anyway, even if Goran and Ben was healthy the whole series, I feel like the Lakers going to win it. I picked them in six, but you know, when you have an opportunity to bring back one of the best players in the world, and you have LeBron under contract playing the way he's been playing the last couple of seasons, you obviously will be one of the top teams, if not the best team coming into next year if you put the right pieces around them. And there's a lot of decent free agents that you can get on decent contracts this summer. The Lakers are a threat to become a potential dynasty if they can continue to stay healthy and continue to, you know, grow as a team. And I like what Frank Vogel has done, getting LeBron and them to play as a defensive team. And I haven't really seen LeBron as locked in and as engaged as he is now. And AD is holding them accountable. AD is pushing them and he's doing it vice versa. But the whole team is playing well together. And one reason why the Heat has been struggling is because of their defense. and. You know, when they hired Frank Vogel, I thought that was one of the biggest reasons to hire him is because he has always shown that he can have an uh, impact on the defensive end as a coach. And having a guy like Anthony Davis that was already an all-NBA defender multiple times before coming to L.A., and you put him in the middle with guys like McGee and, J and, and Dwight Howard, and then you add LeBron and Pope and the Caruso and Rondo, 
you, you have a chance to do something special on the end of the court if everybody buys in and everybody's on the same page and trying to get the same goal accomplished. And then now you look at it months later, almost well, over a year later, they're in the NBA Finals. They won a game away from winning the championship. It all does make sense. And I always loved me some Frank Vogel and I always thought he was an underrated coach. And now he has a chance to be a championship head coach. And that's something that he really was never considered years ago, even in Indiana. Even though they did come close to making it to the NBA Finals, they never did. And now he has already accomplished winning that title. And he has the team all on the same page, which is very impressive, especially for a banner and team and a team that has already had guys that has had success and has made the finals in one like the Rondos and obviously the Jabels and the LeBrons and then trying to help AD get there. But I like the fact that LeBron trusts his teammates and continues to find them, continues to put them in good positions and continues to elevate their play i like the fact that ad has shown that he wants the spotlight he wants the attention he wants the he has the hunger he is stepping up in the biggest moments he's going at people head he's letting people know this is our year i made the right decision and i'm coming at anybody that wants this title because i want it more than anybody else and he has shown that throughout the whole playoff run in the regular season and that's what you want him to do and he hasn't even had major injuries. That's another thing. Anthony Davis was known as a guy that was injury prone. He was known as a guy that couldn't stay on the court. He was soft to some people. And people didn't think that he had that championship DNA in his ability. We knew he was talented. We knew he could play. And we knew that he was one of the best players. But nobody felt like he can really get over that hump because of his failures in New Orleans. They don't have the talent that the Lakers have. But they expect the AD as a number one pick and putting up the numbers that he put up, that he should be able to get it done. And they didn't like the way he left New Orleans, and they didn't like the fact that he couldn't really get them that far, and now he has a chance to be a champion. And he's a big, if not the biggest reason why they're able to do that because of his defensive chops. So, to me, I would hate to see if the Lakers was able to become a dynasty as a Celtics fan, but you still do have to give them credit for what they are, what they have done and how they have played throughout the whole playoffs, only going five games every series and have the opportunity to win the championship in the same amount. And, you know, I like the fight that they have shown this whole playoff run. So it's going to be interesting if they can win three straight. It'd be interesting if they can win two. Let's like say he did it with Paul Gasol, and he did win three straight and make multiple finals appearances with Shaq. I don't know if they're as good as Shaq and Kobe in their prime, but they're still a hell of a duo at the end of the day. And I don't really think that we can take that away from them, especially because they're getting a ship this year, it looks like. And if that does happen, they are going to be known as a great duo because they won the title. Now, with Anthony Davis being younger and being hungry, they have a chance to possibly do something special in the future and win multiple. We don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people don't even believe they can beat the Clippers this year. But regardless, they have a chance to accomplish that goal. And we're going to see what they do with it. So let me know. Can LeBron and AD win multiple titles? Should they be the favorite going into next season, even though this roster may take a drastic change because of the contracts being one year and people having career years and showing some things in the finals? You know, people going to want to pay them. People going to want to try to, you know, break up this Lakers team or pay people because AD is going to get more money means more people going to have to get less money, which means they're going to have the incentive to leave for their own families, which makes sense. Um, it's a business at the end of the day, but this is a special team. This is a, one of the better teams that we have seen. And, you know, you got to give them credit when it's due, whether if you like LeBron or not, they have played pretty well on both ends of the court throughout the whole run. And the most consistent and the most dominant team usually is the one that wins. And that's a big reason is why they have a chance to do it. So check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Not only that, check out my um, 
older videos. I have over a thousand, almost two thousand videos on my channel. So if you like basketball, you can't get enough. I do do season previews. I do do top ten lists. I do breakdowns of real footage of players, legends, rookies, and even summer league breakdowns. And I do cover summer league. I do cover the draft. I do do playoff predictions. So if you love basketball, you can't get enough. You need that daily fix. Um, I have you covered on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to share. Sharing allows me to reach more people. The more people I can reach, the more this channel can continually grow. And that's something that you guys can do that's small and easy that can help support this channel. Not only that, um, I do have merchandise on my fa on my Facebook page. You can check out my shirts that I have available. I have hats available if you want to buy anything to support. Not only that, you can buy it on my spread shirt, which will also be in the description in the comment section below. You can buy merchandise on there. Pick whatever you want, and it can be shipped out to you. And like I said, if you do want to buy on Facebook, you can message me on Facebook, and I can get it shipped out to you. Whatever color you want, whatever logo you want, you can change the color you don't want it, and I can get it made for you and get it shipped out to you with tracking. So thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Good. Thanks for continuing to support the channel even any way that you do. Quinn Wade basketball losses I'm gone. And we will see who wins the NBA championship this year. And it's look like it's going to be the Lakers. But they have a chance to close it out Friday. And we'll see if they do. The Heat going to keep fighting. The Lakers know it. And, you know, this is going to be one of the toughest games of their career because it's a championship game. One team wants to keep going so they can win it. And one team has to play some of the best basketball they ever played to make sure they can win it just because the Heat are that feisty and they, they don't go away and they showed that throughout this whole series. But other than that, enjoy your day.